So here we have a true or false question, and it states the ST segment depression is present in this following lead. Okay, so we have lead V1 here, and remember this is a right precordial lead. Okay, so that's a right precordial lead, and we're asking is ST segment uh, depression uh, present or not? So first you have to know what is the ST segment. So just let's just take a look at and draw it on normal complex. Okay, so let's do this. This is a P wave. This is our QRS complex, and this is our T wave. Now specifically, this is an R wave, and this is an S wave. This is the J point, okay? This is the PR segment. This is the PR interval. So notice that the PR interval includes both the P wave as well as the PR segment, okay? All right, and then the QT interval includes the QRS complex all the way to the end of our T wave. So that's the QT interval. So notice it includes ventricular depolarization, which is this, and this is ventricular repolarization. So both are included in our QT interval. So let's just draw this out a little bigger so we can now see what this ST segment is uh, present here. So let's look at the ST segment, all right? So again, we have our complex, our P wave, QRS complex, T wave. So this is the P wave, QRS, okay? Now, when we mention QRS, that doesn't mean that there's a Q wave there, okay? We just, when we mention any ventricular depolarization, we generally call it a QRS complex. This is more specifically an RS complex because you have an R wave and an S wave. And this is our T wave, okay? Now, the ST segment starts at the J point. Remember, the J point is the end of our QRS complex or beginning of our ST segment, okay? And the, so this right here is our J point. That means if that's the beginning of our ST segment, the ST segment goes there and it goes up until the start of our T wave. So that is our ST segment, okay? And remember, our question here is looking at ST segment and whether there is depression or not, okay? So that's the ST segment. If there's depression, we have to find that PR segment, okay? Remember, that's what we use as our baseline. This is the PR segment. And then we measure this throughout, kind of draw a line, okay? And if this ST segment was above that line, we would call it ST elevation. And if it was below, we call it ST depression. So that's what we have here. So as you can see here, there is no ST segment uh, depression or elevation in this example we've drawn here. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. And we use that J point specifically to measure any ST segment elevation or not. So if you look here, here's our P wave, our QRS complex, and then our T wave. Okay, that means this is our PR segment. And if you draw that out, okay, you can certainly see that. And we draw, keep drawing this through. Okay. You can see, if anything, this is actually above the baseline. So what we're seeing here is something above here, the baseline. So we would in fact call that ST segment elevation, okay? And the question or the statement says that ST segment depression is present in the following lead, and that is certainly not true. So this is a false statement, okay? So again, know where that J point is, look at that J point, see if it's above or below, okay? And if it is above, we call it ST elevation, above that baseline. If it's below, then we call it ST segment depression. So again, ST segment depression is not present here, and that's why this uh, choice is false. Well, that's the end of this lecture. I hope you learned something. Please don't forget to like this video and leave a comment below if you like what we're doing. In fact, many of you have asked how you could help us out. Really, the best way you could do is simply subscribe and share this resource with your friends. And you get free access to more than 300 videos. There is also a community of over 270,000 of us like-minded individuals on Facebook. So stop over and join the EKG Guys uh, Facebook community. Many of you have also asked some questions. Leave them below or share them on Facebook, and we can try to answer them with a short video so everyone else can learn. We also have a number of new courses with corresponding videos coming out soon, so stay tuned for those. Last but certainly not least, your feedback is incredibly helpful and your kind words are always an encouragement on those long days. So let us know how we're doing. Thank you again for your support. It is truly appreciated. We are the largest, fastest growing EKG resource in the world.